I want to thank um, my colleagues and my students for this incredible honor. Uh, and it is an honor. I, I feel very appreciative about it. And as the, as the first time that it's been um, done or awarded, I, I do want to accept it on behalf of all of the great teachers and administrators, present and past, who have built Antioch and maintained it and uh, made it what it is. And I have a lot of pride in what they've done and have been glad to be able to participate in a small way in it. Um, two things struck me when other people were speaking, and they were the, the question of Antioch values, and I have a short, very short story, and I, I, it's uh, when I was young, going to high school and college in Cleveland, I worked almost every day. In that process, on at least a couple of occasions, working next to me at routine jobs like loading and unloading trucks, or working in a machine shop, was an Antioch College student from Yellow Springs, Ohio. I grew up in Cleveland. Yellow Springs is downstate. I've never been there. And but it wasn't summertime. Asked the person, well, "What are you doing?" Then, in both instances, they told me that what they were doing was working for credit, and they were required to do this work as part of a co-op program, they went back and wrote a paper um, on what they had learned in their working experience. And that was so impressive to me and my friends as young people in school that um, I had never forgotten. And it showed the very first value that I learned about Antioch was the respect for work. And it has stayed with me for a long time. I remember learning here that an Antioch campus was opening in Santa Barbara a long time ago. And hearing from the people who were involved with organizing it, that there was going to be prior credit, academic credit given for work experience on a limited basis. And I kind of smiled to myself and said, yeah, that's the same Antioch. Respect for work is still there. By this time in my life, I had, of course, learned more about the other values of Antioch, and I have the um, utmost respect for the Antioch uh, commitment to progressive education, to social justice, and to civil rights, and I've seen it for years and years and years. Which brings me to the final thing that I want to say, which is um, my own commitment when I had the opportunity to begin to teach in Antioch was really based on what I learned about their respect for work. And I said to myself, if I'm going to do this, and I still had my own office to run at that time, I'm only going to do it if, I have, if I'm willing to put in the time to give it my best shot. And I will always try to keep it real, real life based, which is one of the lessons that Antioch was teaching those young students that worked with me way back in my early days in Cleveland, Ohio. And so I would say to the graduates, um, be yourselves. Something in you already contained the values or the germination of the values that Antioch propounds, or else you wouldn't be here. And when you walk out this door, you take the added credibility that James mentioned and bring it with you, but continue to be yourselves and continue to make the world an even better place than you already do. Thank you.